Today I'd like to discuss with you something that's critically important to our industry, us as individuals, and me personally. Um, we have a real problem in this country. It's handheld device distracted driving. And, and typically that refers to texting, but it can be any use of the cell phone while you're driving, while it's in your hands. This became really, really apparent to me about 15 years ago when I ran into an old friend who was an incredibly strong individual. Uh, he was passionate, he was a business owner, he was a coach, um, he was a good friend. And, and I hadn't seen him in, in probably five or 10 years. And, and um, I, I, I met him and I said, wow, you know, are, are you okay? He was a completely broken individual. Several years before that, he had uh, T-boned a teenager, 16-year-old girl, who ran a stop sign because she was texting. And she was killed. But the worst part about it was, it ruined his life. He was the innocent victim. It caused a divorce. He lost his business. He just could not recover from this. And the same thing is happening all throughout our country. As you're aware, our company uses the Lytx drive cams. So we have a forward facing camera as well as a rearward uh, facing camera. The forward camera, of course, that makes the best witness in case of an incident. The rearward facing cameras are designed to be a training uh, and coaching uh, tool. But every so often we'll find that somebody's using their cell phone. And, and that's a habit that we need to break. And with the new technologies, with the artificial intelligence, it can detect whether somebody's using a cell phone or not. And I want to talk to you the reasons why it's so important that we break those, those bad habits. Is we are living in an incredibly litigious society. And if you're caught having an accident, and God forbid it's a fatality, and you have been using your cell phone, you jeopardize the livelihood of all of our employees, not alone your own livelihood. If you get in an accident because of the use of a cell phone, texting or whatever the case may be, you might as well say goodbye to your family, your children. How many of you want to be visited in jail by your children, your grandchildren, your wives? Those are the possibilities if you get into an accident because of cell phone usage while you're driving. I'd like to bring a couple facts. So in 2019, when this data is from, that's the most current we can get from the National Safety Council, there were over 1.6 million accidents that were caused because of distracted driving with the use of a cell phone. Of that, of those 1.6 million accidents, there were 425,000 injuries. Of those 425,000 injuries, 3,200 were fatalities. The worst part about that, of the 3,200 fatalities, 550 of them were non-occupants of the vehicle. That means a pedestrian walking alongside the road, a bicyclist, or anybody else that wasn't part of the vehicle. One in every four accidents in the United States is caused by cell phone distracted driving. 25%. And I would be willing to bet everything I have, that statistic is woefully understated. I'm confident that that's probably closer to 50%. We all see it. You as professional truck drivers driving 100,000 miles a year or local guys driving 40 or 50,000 miles a year, you see people on the phone all the time. 
It is the greatest risk to you as a professional truck driver. It's the greatest risk to me as a motorcyclist. And it's the greatest risk to our family members who are out there driving. We need to eliminate this behavior, which is a bad habit. Most of us grew up without cell phones. I don't understand the necessity for it to be such an imposing part of our lives. A person using a cell phone is six times more likely to get into an accident than a drunk driver. That's an incredible statistic. Answering a text, even looking down for five seconds, if you're doing 55 mile an hour, you have just traveled the length of a football field, not paying attention to the highway. Of all distracted activities, texting is by far the most dangerous. 94% of drivers, 94% of drivers support a ban on texting while driving. Some of you may know that currently I am chairman of the Ohio Trucking Association. When I was named chairman in 2020, it was my personal goal, my number one priority was to get handheld device distracted driving legislatively changed to becoming a primary offense. In Ohio, if you're texting and driving, a police officer can't stop you for that. Now, if you're speeding or some other violation, they can write it up as a secondary offense. We are this close with the Ohio Trucking Association in a coalition of other safety-minded organizations to having that become a reality this year. Ohio is only one of four states where, where texting and the use of a handheld device is not a primary offense. And for the safety of your families, for the safety of yourselves, we hope that we get that accomplished this year. So again, if you can't operate your vehicle, whether it's a car, whether it's a commercial vehicle, without the use of a cell phone, I can't urge you strongly enough, either turn it off, throw it in a glove compartment. If you're in your truck and it has a sleeper, throw it in the back. Anytime that you need to use that cell phone to text, you really need to stop that vehicle so you can pay attention to what you're doing on the phone and not become a liability and possibly ruin the lives of other innocent victims. So thank you for listening to this message today, and I wish you all safe traveling. Thank you.